My dear friends, this year our church of St. John the Baptist, Pilen, is celebrating 365 years of its foundation. We know that this number is a very significant number as it signifies the number of days in the year. Though it's not a jubilee, but this year is very significant for us because our church enters into a very significant year. And in view of this, we have chosen something unique this, this year. That is, one family will be prayed for in the Mass. And also, the family will come and give a gospel reflection. So, it's like throughout the year, all the families that are there will be prayed for. And uh, we know that the Word of God is alive and active. It can touch and change our life. As our saint, as our patron, Saint John the Baptist, preached the Word and called for repentance, let this Word touch the families and uh, may it lead you to change your life. I wish you all the best in this journey of 365 days of our uh, year of this year and may St. John the Baptist intercede for us. Today's reading is taken from Luke 6, 36 to 38 and it talks about the mercy and not judging others. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Be merciful just as your Father is merciful. Do not judge and you will not be judged. Do not condemn and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over will be put into your lap. For the measure you give, will be the measure you get back. The word of the Lord. Jesus instructs us to be merciful as his Father is merciful. Are we merciful to others? We can be merciful in our own way. Perhaps we can do good work. We can volunteer to help in the church, donate to the poor, or simply help our neighbor who is in need. Help our friends, relatives, or help the downtrodden by giving them the necessities of life. There are many and varied ways that we can contribute to make the world a better place by our generous charitable work. However, Jesus' message is a very personal one for us, and yet it may be a difficult message for us. Jesus primarily challenges us and instructs us to stop judging, criticizing and condemning others. And we are to forgive the individual who have hurt us. It may be fairly easy for us to give our time, treasure and talents. However, to forgive someone who has hurt us deeply is a huge challenge. We simply may not want to forgive. We even might want the other person to suffer for what they have done to us. Yet, if we truly wish to follow Jesus, we have to forgive. There is no other option. Most likely, we may not forget, as the memory is stored in our minds and hearts. However, we do have a choice. We can choose to be merciful and forgive the other person. And in the process, we also may free ourselves. Jesus has give, forgiven those who had nailed him to cross to his death. Can we remember someone who has forgiven us for something we did to hurt them? What a wondrous gift that gave us. The gift of forgiveness frees both the person. Today, may we seriously ask us ourselves, am I willing to take the step to forgive? 
name the person your answer may not be an immediate yes but this can be the first step today we will pray for the grace we need to take the first step and can we pray for each other that each of us will have the courage and strength to move towards forgiveness have i ever tried to forgive others have i been merciful to others prayer thank you jesus for the wonderful task for reminding us that forgiving others not being judgmental and con- not condemning them and being generous is in our own interest loving father we thank you for this beautiful church as it celebrates 365 years of its foundation may each and every member of this parish be blessed with good health peace and lasting happiness we thank you lord for the gift of our patron saint john the baptist who was sent by you to prepare the way for the coming of our savior jesus christ may he help us to work for justice and liberty as we walk this path of faith and self renewal as members belonging to the parish of saint john the baptist we pray that we may grow in love and show respect and concern to our fellow brothers and sisters may our devotion to you o great saint john the baptist open our minds to live a life of sharing in our families society and church we pray that our families may be reflections of the home of jesus of nazareth we pray for today's family may our small christian communities be models of prayer love and unity through the eucharist may our ties with our fellow pilgrims be strengthened give us the grace to walk together along with our fellow pilgrims making our community a vibrant one we make this prayer to christ our lord jesus christ amen saint john the baptist pray for us today we pray for the family of pierre lobo his wife vanessa son gaius and tracy and their daughter nora and another son jeraj and jesus tells us not to judge others we know that all of us we have a tendency to judge but god is only so judge in the last line is important give and it will be given to you and that's the principle of life as we pray for peer we ask the lord to bless them may them all may all of them all of this principle of generosity to give to the lord to others so that they in return will receive the lord's blessings this is our prayer for them we may this prayer to christ the lord amen the lord be with you the almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit 